So we're going to do a quick review on linear, what? Linear, everything linear, okay? So um, I did not get to see y'all's test because I was in the eighth grade math thing instead of the answer one one. But you are going to have some questions about linear stuff. So if you don't have good notes on this, I would take notes. Or if you need like a quick reminder, take a script, quick scribble. However, I'm going to go extremely quick, extremely quick. Because this is not me reteaching it. This is me reviewing it. So linear review. Yay! Slope intercept form. Y equals mx. Y equals mx plus b. M stands for. And b stands for. Oh my gosh! So easy. Good job. Standard form. What? Remember when we cut the guitar? <laughs> is it not hard anymore? No. <laughs> That's a good thing. I used to complain about how hard this I think like once we start we started getting more into algebra, things are a little bit much more easier. Okay, so AX plus BY equals C is the standard form equation of a linear. You can either remember the rule that the slope is negative A over B or you, and that the y intercept is C over B, or you can always just change it into slope intercept form. So for example, if I had 2x plus 5y equals 10, how would I change this into slope intercept form? So track 2x from both sides. That would get me 5y equals 10 minus 2x. And then how would I do it from here? Divide both sides by 5. So when I divide both sides by 5, 10 over 5 is 2. And negative 2 over 5 is just negative 2 fifths x. So here, the 2 represents the y-intercept, and my slope represents negative 2 fifths. For the test, you need to make sure you know how to do this. If you do not know how to go from standard to slope-intercept, practice. Go look it up on YouTube. Look at old videos that we've done. Questions about this? Okay, point slope form. Point slope form. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. m represents the slope, and x1 and y1 represent a point. What you need to remember about this is that just because those are minus signs does not mean that's negative. So actually, the minus signs, if there's minus signs, that means that the two numbers are positive. If they were plus signs, it would be negative. So let's say I have the equation y minus 4 equals 1 half x plus 7. What is the slope of this equation? One half. One half. And what is the point that it's giving me? Perfect. Negative 7, positive 4. This is the x and y value that it's giving me. Questions? You probably will have a question about point slope form. So if you do not understand, speak up now, please. Why is it like why is the why is it opposite signs? Because in the formula, there are minus signs here. That does not mean that x and y are negative. It just that's the formula. Well, if that's the formula and these that means these are two positive values. If there's a plus sign, then that means that must have been a negative because a negative and a negative make a positive. Why is the formula that way? I don't know. I'd have to look it up. The reason why. Okay, graphs. I need to find the slope and the y-intercept of this graph. First thing, the easiest thing is defining the y-intercept. What's the y-intercept? Where it hits the y-axis. And so what is it? Negative 10. Negative 10. So my y-intercept is negative 10. My y-intercept is negative 10. How do I find my slope? Rise over run. Rise over run. Beautiful. So I find two points on my line and figure out how much is it rising versus how much it's running. So it's rising one and running one, two, three, four, five. And I can count by ones because this is going by ones. If it wasn't going by ones, then I would need to figure something else out. Is that slope positive or negative? Positive. positive. This line is going up from left to right. So one fifth. So if I wanted to write this as in slope intercept form, it'd be y equals one fifth x 
minus 10, because the slope is one fifth and the y intercept is 10. If I wanted to write this in standard form, in standard form, ax plus by equals c. One thing that if you remember, if my slope is positive, there'll be a minus sign here. The slope, the rise of a run is the a and b, the two coefficients of x and y. So this would be one x minus five y. The c value, you could plug a point in and find out what the c value is. Um, so, but if I know the y intercept is negative 10, what C value could I put right here that if divided by negative five would get me negative 10? So like what number here, if I divided it by negative five would give me negative 10? <laughs> 50. So 50 divided by negative five is negative 10. So that's, a, that's how I do it in my head, but you could obviously, I'll show you again how to plug a point in and solve for C. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. And if I did this in point slope form, let's say I find a random point, this point is at five, negative nine. So if I did this in point slope form, it'd be Y. Since the Y value is negative, it'd be plus nine equals one fifth. And the X value is positive, so X minus five. Speak up, please, if you do not understand. Okay, tables. How do I find the slope of a table? Marco? Okay, so y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1? Yes. <clears throat> so I can label my points x1, y1, x2, y2, and plug this into my slope formula. <clears throat> 4 minus 3 over 10 minus 5. That'll give me 1 over 5. So that's 1 fifth. So there's my slope. How would I find my y intercept? Alex? Okay, I could plug into Desmos and do the y1 squiggle mx1 plus b. Absolutely, I could. Um, but by hand, Anais? Perfect. So I can choose one of these points from my table, substitute it into y equals mx plus b. So the y value I chose is 7. The slope is one fifth. The x value I chose is 25. And then plus b. So I want to solve for b. 7 equals one fifth times 25 is 5 plus b. How do I get rid of this 5? Subtract five. Subtract 5 from both sides. So that will give me 2 equals b. Hmm? Mm -mm. 7 minus 5 is positive, too. So my equation would be y equals 1 fifth x plus 2. Now, I'm very happy that Alex brought up the point. You could plug this into Desmos. If, I, I told Brandon this morning, I said, 70%, probably about 70% of your test, you literally could use Desmos to help you find the answers if you know how to use it. Okay, so I would try to get more accustomed to it so you can check the answers. Okay, word problems. <laughs> Oh, oh, so many words. Tavia went to an arcade where it oh. cost $15 to get into the arcade and 25 cents for each game. Pause. Oh, a big pause. I'm already confused. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's just talk about what each of these words mean in a word problem. For slope, remember these are our each and our per words. So like if I'm paying each for each game, for each candy, per this, per that, those are my slope words. My y-intercept words are like my initial amount, how much I'm starting with, or like that one-time fee, something I'm, I'm paying only one time. So in this first sentence, 
it costs fifteen dollars to get in. What would that fifteen dollars represent? The initial amount. So my B, the y-intercept. So the fifteen dollars will represent the um, y-intercept. And twenty five cents for each game. What does twenty five cents represent? The slope. So the per game is my slope. So I'm gonna just. I haven't even finished writing the. I haven't finished reading the problem, but I know that it's gonna be some kind of. Um, format like this. If she gets the first, okay, hold on, before I even read that, what does X stand for? If it's 25 cents for each game, X would represent what? The amount of games, right? Okay, and Y represents how much money I'm spending. All right, if she gets the first five games for free, write an equation that represents the relationship between the number of games, X, and the amount of money she would spend at the arcade, Y. How would I put this part in? If she gets the first five games for free. Leslie? Um, what do you mean? Mm -hmm, but we're not looking for how much money she's spending. We're looking for the equation. If she got the first five games for free, how would this change my equation up? Would you subtract x minus five? Perfect. Okay, so this instead of this just being x, this would be x minus five because I'm getting the first five games for free. So I wouldn't pay 25 cents for those first five games. So I have to take the first five games out of the equation. So this would be my equation y equals 0.25 x minus five plus 15. So that would take out the first five games cost for me. It makes so much sense. Yeah, I can't possibly. <laughs> All right. Good. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see how much is left. Okay. Two more. Two more things, and then I'm done. Okay. Systems of linear equations. Dun dun dun. Who remembers substitution method and elimination method? Oh, a couple of people do. Oh, I'm so excited. Now remember. If you don't know, you all got no clue what to do here. You better use Desmos then. You better use Desmos. Yeah, okay, good question. So if I'm looking for the solution to these two sets of equations, when I graph them on Desmos, it's gonna give me two linear equations. Where am I looking for the solution at? Where they intersect, okay? And that's my answer. However, in test mode, you would not be able to use standard form. You would have to change all of these into slope intercept form if you use Desmos in test mode. Some of you don't use test mode, and I, I can't make you put it in test mode, especially if you're at home. But when it does come to the start test, they will be in test mode. So you can you have to know that what you can and cannot do in test mode. Okay, 2x plus 5y equals 8, y equals 2x plus 7. Substitution method tells me if y equals 2x plus 7, then for this y, I'm going to plug in what? 2x plus 7. Since y equals 2x plus 7, for this y, I'm going to plug in 2x plus 7. So that will give me 2x plus 5 times 2x plus 7 equals 8. And then I'm solving for x. How would I solve for x? <laughs> Okay, but how? Okay, well, give me some. Oh, distribute. distribute the five first, thank you. So that'll give me 2x plus 10x plus 35 equals 8. What next? Okay, I can combine like times. 2x plus 10x will give me 12x plus 35 equals 8. Then what? Perfect, subtract 35 from both sides. Thank you. So that'll give me 12x equals negative 27. And then what? Divide by 12. And that's some decimal. Negative 2.25. Okay. And then to find my y value, what would I have to go do? This the is my. Same thing with that. You plug in x. I plug in x, thank you. So if y equals 2x plus 7, I'm just going to plug in x to figure out what the y is. Oh my gosh. 
Huh? Huh? No, that was the x value we just told us. So we need to find the y value. So 2 times negative 2.25 plus 7 is 2.5. Okay. So my answer would be negative 2.25, 2.5. Again, you can check this on Desmos, but both of these would have to be in slope-intercept form. So you would have to change this first equation. Okay, elimination method. Elimination method says I want to eliminate one of these variables. You're looking for the same coefficient opposite signs. Nicole? Um, first, you divide the bottom one by the bottom one. You could. I've never thought of it like that. You could. Or you could multiply by two. Uh, so I could multiply this top equation by two, and that's what I would do. I wouldn't divide because then I'm going to get decimals, and I don't like decimals. So I'm going to do what Nicole said. I'm going to multiply this first one by 2 because I will get my 5y to make it positive 10y so I can cancel this out. So this will be 4x plus 10y equals 16. I'm going to rewrite the other equation, x minus 10y equals 7. And then I'm going to eliminate. 4x plus x will give me 5x. This cancels out. 16 plus 7 will give me 25. Right? Okay. Then divide by five on both sides. 23. 23. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I know I did something wrong. Twenty-three. Thank you. Uh and then divide by five on both sides. I don't know what that is. Let's see. Four point six. And then again, I would plug this in to one of these equations and solve for x. For the sake of time, however, I'm not going to go back and plug it in, okay? Um, last thing is this. Goodness gracious, I feel I'm literally doing three months of learning in 15 minutes. My goodness. Okay, what is the equation of a line in standard form? Ax plus by equals c. That has a slope of two fifths and goes to the point negative eight seven. If it has a slope of two fifths, it'll be two x minus five y equals c. How do I find my c value? How? Put in your points. Perfect. So substitute. I plug in my points. It tells me it goes to the point negative eight and seven. So I'm gonna go plug those in. Two times negative eight. Minus 5 times 7 equals C. Negative 16 plus 35 equals C. Negative 16 plus 35 is 19. So 19 equals C. So my answer would be 2x minus 5y equals 19. Oh. I'm very tired. Then let us all take naps. Uh,